Welcome back to another Yeah, I Smoke It. Today we're gonna smoke a beef brisket on my Trigger Pro 22. So here's why I like smoking. It's a lot of trial and error. And to be honest, this brisket came out a little dry for, um, for my liking. Uh, but I'll walk you through the videos and talk about my lessons learned and what I'm gonna try differently on the next go around. So in this section, I'm removing a lot of the fat. Lesson learned is I won't take off too much fat next time because I think that helps with some of the flavoring and also it keeps it a little bit much more juicier as the fat renders into the brisket. So with brisket, you always wanna cut against the grain. So as I outlined in this image, the black line is going with the grain. And what you wanna do is you wanna cut off a chunk on the corner to go against the grain so that when it's done smoking, you'll know where to cut off. So later on in the video, you'll notice that uh, once I start slicing the brisket. For the rub today, I'm using a big beef rub that I picked up at my local butcher shop. So earlier on, I already rubbed the brisket down with olive oil. Uh, now I just want to put some of this rub all over the brisket, uh, every corner, every inch. Just cover it as much as possible. What will stick will stick, and what won't will fall off. So this brisket had some brown crust. Um, I don't know what you really call it, but it's typically from a uh, aging beef that kind of like sits out. But anyways, you just want to cut it off and uh, and leave that out. Um, I didn't do it in the video, but I did catch it before uh, I added it uh, into the smoker. So this brisket is all seasoned up. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in the fridge. It'll probably be about eight hours before I put it on the smoker. It has been eight hours and it is now 3 a.m. I put the brisket on, fat side up, and the Traeger is set to 225. Okay guys, it's been about four and a half hours. Um, you know what I forgot to mention, I did pick up a new wireless and Bluetooth thermometer from Fireboard. Uh, internal, internal temperature of the Traeger is 228 and the meat probe is showing about 156. I also forgot to add a bucket of water or a pail of water. So that's what you see there. And then every hour after the four and a half hours, I'm starting to spray it down with some applesauce to try to keep it somewhat uh, juicy. Uh, so every hour I'll spray that. And again, of course, I forgot to put in my uh, water pail to help uh, with some of the humidity and the moisture inside the smoker. It has been eight hours and I've decided that I will foil it. Um, the internal temperature is 175. My initial thought was I was not going to foil this brisket and just let it do its thing and build a crust, but I changed my mind um, at 175 degrees. So I am gonna use heavy duty foil and wrap it twice. An hour after I foiled it, the internal temperature reached up to 202. Uh, at that point, I did take it off and let it sit in the foil for a good uh, 45, 50 minutes uh, to let it rest. So 45, 50 minutes has passed. I did get a pan to catch some of the juice inside the foil. Uh, as you see, I'm pulling the brisket out and the juice I'm saving uh, to add as a topper. With brisket, you want to cut against the grain. The white line is the grain direction and the red line is the direction you want to slice your brisket to go against the grain. Unfortunately, no juicy alert on this brisket. I felt that they could have turned out a little bit better. You know, this wasn't a bad brisket or a bad smoke. Uh, I do know that next time I'm gonna put a pail of water underneath of the brisket to kind of help with the moisture inside the smoker versus doing it four hours later. Um, again, I think the brisket could have came out a little juicier, but other than that, you know, I think it was fine. Uh, I do not want to wrap it the next go around and see how that turns out. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Cornbread from scratch in my next video.